can an arising, unreasonable feeling of guilt, which all thoughts keep coming back to over and over again, be a provocation of the system in order to take you back to self-consciousness based on the victim-oppressor principle? Yes, Olga, it can be. It can be a provocation of the system as well as self-provocation. To understand the cause and source of this constantly returning state, you have to get out of it, as strange as it sounds. Because the problem cannot be understood, and even more so, it cannot be solved by staying inside the problem. If you possess the techniques of our second main course, work with them. Start cleansing your astral body. Just cleanse out the astral body so that your feeling of guilt stops putting pressure on you. Only once the pressure stops, you may look at it from the outside and see what the real cause actually is. Is it your fault? Then you just have to make amends, redeem it, or simply make an action that eliminates your fault. Or are these the system's games that embed the guilt program into your consciousness and constantly push this button. Anyway, the only way to understand this is, I repeat, by looking at it from the outside. If getting rid of your feelings proves to be difficult, ask our colleagues, such as on our forum, ask them for diagnostics. Maybe they will take a look and tell you what the cause is. Although it is better if you would do it yourself, because forming your own experience is most valuable. If someone else does something for you, it will be their merit, not yours. But if you do everything yourself, it will definitely increase your existential volume as well as your experience and merit. Anything is possible. Anything can happen. Thus, in a nutshell, a problem cannot be diagnosed with precision. But usually these are precisely the two main problems, either self-punishment or, indeed, egregorial influence. You can only observe it when you get outside of the problem. And you can get outside of the problem only when you don't have any emotional attitude towards it. Certainly quite paradoxical.